Hello, my name is Matt Loikinen. I'm a part of Synopsys' Serial ATA Intellectual Property R&D team. In this short demonstration, I will give an overview and show the operation of the Synopsys Serial ATA host controller in a standard Linux PC system. First, a little introductory information. Synopsys provides SATA IP solutions that enable our customers to add the SATA interface to their system-on-chip designs. Synopsys provides SATA host controllers and device controllers as synthesizable RTL and the physical layer devices, or FIs, in multiple process technologies. For verification of the SOC, Synopsys provides SATA verification IP. With our complete SATA solution, Synopsys is a leading provider of SATA IP, and all of our Synopsys SATA IP is SATA IO compliance certified and on SATA IO's integrators list. The Synopsys SATA host controller IP supports a SATA feature called FIS based switching. Port multipliers are devices that allow a single serial ATA port to communicate with multiple drives. The port multiplier is transparent to the drives, but the host is aware that it is communicating with multiple drives. Port multipliers allow cost-effective scalability to expand the number of drives in a storage system. FIS-based switching, or FBS, is a protocol mechanism for interleaved packetized communication to the port multiplier attached drives. The host controller can issue read or write commands to any of the attached drives, and FBS allows for the data packets of those various commands to be interleaved when they are sent and received. FBS provides for better utilization of the 6 gigabit per second SATA link bandwidth. This compared to basic command-based switching, which allows for commands to be outstanding to only a single port multiplier attached drive. Let's take a look at our demo hardware components. At the heart is the Synopsys HAPS FPGA board. This is the Xilinx Vertex 5 based HAPS 51T. On FPGA is the SATA host controller prototype design, which includes the SATA AHCI host controller, which is digital IP, as well as our PCI Express IP core configured as a PCIe endpoint for connectivity to the host PC. Synopsys AMBA AXI IP implements the bus connectivity between the SATA controller and the PCIe core. The physical SATA link functionality is provided by the Synopsys SATA Phi, a test chip on this daughter card. The on FPGA CERTES in this demo design is used for PCI Phi duty. On the other end of the SATA cable is the port multiplier. Most port multipliers are inside of an enclosure, but this particular one allows us to see the four drives attached to it. Here we have four solid state drives, or SSDs. Note that the port multiplier provides connection to multiple drives via a single SATA link to the host controller. Back again over to the system side. Our SATA host controller appears to the host computer as a PCI Express connected add-in hardware device. This is our Linux PC motherboard. Our OS is a Linux kernel 3.2.1 build under Fedora 16. The demo operation consists of use of the four port multiplier attached drives just like any other hard disk drive attached to the system. Again, there is no Synopsys software in the picture. Software connectivity to the Linux operating system is provided at the lowest level by the Linux standard HCI driver. This driver is port multiplier aware and also makes use of the FIS based switching feature. Let's take a look at operation under Linux. Using this disk utility, we see the four drives attached via our SATA host controller. The drives can be formatted, mounted, which I've already done in this case with volume labels A, B, C, D. Here you see different videos playing off of drives A and B. Drives C and D are also simultaneously accessible. The video players request file access to the video file stored on the mounted drives. Those requests pass through the operating system's file system and other driver software layers down to the AHCI driver. The AHCI driver programs our SATA host controller to send read or write SATA commands to the attached drives. Completion data is then sent back up to the SATA host controller via the SATA link and on up to the AHCI driver. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Synopsys SATA IP. We reduce our customers' risk by interoperability and compliance testing in hardware. For more information on Synopsys's complete SATA solution, please visit synopsis.com slash SATA.